Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Todd Antoni. I'm the superintendent of schools here in the school district of Onalaska. And I uh, want to welcome you to our groundbreaking ceremony. Uh, as you can see, we're taking the open concept to an extreme here on this end of the building, the open, open concept of the middle school. This is an exciting day for our community, an exciting day for Onalaska, exciting day for kids and, and will be exciting venture here uh, for families for decades to come. Like Todd said with the Boys and Girls Club, this was a, vi a vision that began over two years ago. And to be here today and see the start to this project and the partnership and the impact that is gonna happen with the Boys and Girls Club in the school district of Onalaska is, is, uh, is exciting for our organization. This will be our ninth Boys and Girls Club in the La Crosse County. And this club um, will serve members for our children from ages uh, kindergarten through 12th grade with a robust after school program, summer opportunities for kids, and our programs and services that are offered at all of our boys and girls clubs will be also offered here in the Onalaska community. Things like academic success and the arts and opportunities for kids with character and leadership, uh, workforce development, mental health services, much needed mental health services will be brought to this club. Um, we have also have a couple of, or a few, pretty significant investors already in this project. A couple that uh, want to already remain anonymous that may be announced at a later date. Um, the Lohman Family Courtesy Corporation has made a significant gift. I know Wendy's here. Where are you at, Wendy? Wendy's over here. Thank you for your support. Another lead gift, uh, which will not be a surprise to anyone in this community. I think they're the king and queen of Onalaska, Wisconsin, uh, Dave and Barb Skogan. Where are you at, Dave and Barb? What Dave, Dave and Barb have done for Onalaska and our entire La Crosse area community is just amazing. And the investment that they're making in kids in this project, uh, we can't thank them enough. Um, but we're also here today for a really special announcement. Um, John and Linda Lickey moved to the La Crosse area just over 45 years ago. And since then, they have, be, they have been community leaders. Uh, Linda spent her career working with kids, volunteering, serving others. And I know she's smiling down on us right now. She knew this project. She knew all about it. She knew where we were going to be. And uh, the really neat thing, too, with John and Linda, as you all know, is that this service to the community, they did it together. And uh, we are here today to recognize this special couple. The gift that they have made as a lead donor is the reason that the Boys and Girls Club is part of this project. So it is my pleasure to officially announce to the community the John and Linda Lickey Boys and Girls Club future home right here. So with that, you know, raising our family in Onalaska uh, and having our kids, including our son-in-law, go here from kindergarten through graduation from high school, uh, helped launch them into what's become a very happy and successful lifestyle out and about beyond Onalaska. And when we started thinking about this project, we thought, you know, if there's ever a thing that we can give back to somebody, it would be to give them the same gift that we had and that is to have an education and a launch pad that's second to none. And when the idea about building a club in Onalaska was surfacing, uh, that was the very first thing that came to mind. Um, it, it seems like when we're in more challenging times today than we've been in the past, and if there was ever a need for the collaboration that's about to uh, be launched or has been launched, uh, now is the day, uh, now is the time, and now is the time to make our future brighter. Because without this kind of collaboration, without this kind of help from one another, uh, our students are going to be left to be languishing a bit and not achieving all that they can achieve. And quite frankly, from a very selfish standpoint, these kids are our future. And if we don't help our future, we're not helping ourselves either. So I think we, we owe a great deal of gratitude, not only to the people I just mentioned, but to, again, all of you, those of you who are here tonight or today uh, to help make this thing happen. 